Hello everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Here in the studio today we have Richard from WD. How are you doing, Richard? Doing great, Paul. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming here. I understand we have a new series of hard drives avail available from Western Digital. And I'm just going to take a guess here. I know we've got the reds, we've got the blacks, we've got the blues, we've got the greens. So it's got to be one of those, right, that, that we're talking about today? We've got a new color. We've got Paul. a new color. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Uh, Purple? Is... We have purple. All right, so we're adding another color to the spectrum. Uh, pretty much we're going to have the whole rainbow from Western uh, Digital very soon. <laughs> but these are the WD Purple Drives. And why uh, did WD feel the need to create a new color of drive? So, uh, so, Paul, we have actually colors because of the different types of applications that the hard drives are used in. Okay. So, as you mentioned, the other colors, for instance, blue is for everyday computing or PC usage. Uh, green gets us a lot of capacity. The black is high performance. Mm -hmm. And then the red is for NAS. And now we have a purple drive that is optimized for the surveillance market. Okay, so when you talk about surveillance, to me, there seems to be some similarity here between the, the NAS drives that we're already familiar with, the WD Reds, and the purple drives. So to my mind, I, I look at it, some, this type of application as these are drives that are going to be always on. They're mm -hmm. going to be 24-7 usage. But where is the other difference there? Why, why is there a need for a purple as well as a red drive? So actually, if you look at the usage and the operation that each type of application does to the drive, mm -hmm. it's actually quite different. Okay. And for surveillance, it's a very high write intensive application with low bit rate streams and many streams because okay. you have multiple and many cameras all feeding into one system. So the, the actual data that's being written to the drive, whereas with the NAS, you might have to be dealing with any variety of type of data because a NAS could be used for storage of a bunch of video files or a bunch of very small files or it could be used as a, in a, in a uh, almost a server type environment. Here we're dealing with a much more specific use case exactly. and a type of data being written to the drives that you guys can sort of preempt a little bit and you know what kind of data is being written so you can tune the drive specifically for that type of application? Exactly. Okay. So NAS and PCs, the operation might be random but in, in a surveillance application, it's pretty much a consistent and steady usage. So since we know that, we can optimize the firmware to get better performance for it. Excellent. So uh, we have a bit of a demonstration here set up right in front of us. I really like these drives because they have windows on them. We don't see that very often. Haven't really seen that since the WD Raptor drives that came out many years ago. But those were uh, very popular amongst enthusiasts. But these three drives in here uh, are actually set up with um, a, a bit of special sauce in the firmware to emulate specific types of use case scenarios. Correct. So yep. starting with this one on our right, our right, the viewer's left, uh, what is that drive doing? So this drive uh, is set up with a application, typical application for a PC. So this is running a typical Windows type application running PowerPoint, um, Excel, also uh, internet applications, and you can see that actually it looks like it's not doing anything right now, mm -hmm. but it is. Uh, the drive is actually spinning. You can see the hub is, is spinning. You cannot see the, the screws, but the actuator and arm part of the hard drive is actually standing still, and that's probably because it's just simply reading or writing. And this is more of like a home use or an mm -hmm. office use. Uh, and you can like see a... right now, actually, it, the drive just spun down. So that's so because it stopped. nobody's doing anything with it, so the drive's like, yep. all right, I'll take a break for a while. You're not always power. doing things on a PC, and okay. so sometimes it spins down. And then uh, in the center we have an AV drive, so audio, video, or maybe something like a, a DVR set-top box. Correct, okay. exactly. So this one, where this is not built for 20, uh, 24 by 7 usage, this one is because it is a set-top box. Mm -hmm. And you can see this is running a, an application which is simulating three streams. Two recording streams, like if you're recording two channels on your home DVR, mm -hmm. and one playback, for instance, if you're watching a, a TV show. Okay. So you can see this one is working a little bit more. Uh, the actuator arm and heads are, are moving more, uh, recording those two streams and writing one. All right, so definitely more activity here than you see with the typical desktop usage. And uh, this drive is, uh, you were talking to me earlier, this drive does have some additional special sauce in the hardware mm -hmm. to make sure that's going to be able to uh, stand up to 24-7 usage. To get that better reliability. But even when talking about that type of implementation like you would with the DVR set-top box or even a, a home NAS or something like that, going from that to a uh, surveillance drive, the, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly obvious just looking at this drive, this one's going crazy. Yeah, you can actually really see the difference here because that is, this is what, this is simulating an operation of a DVR type system okay. with 16 cameras, All right. recording and playing back at the same time. 
So this has to do, the usage and operation of this is, has to do a lot more. So that's where you can really see, if you look at the difference between a surveillance and the PC system, really understand since it's doing such a different type of application and workload, mm -hmm. then we can actually optimize and the drive to work better in it. So that's why we have different drives for different applications, okay, so because not, the application is different. So not just the uh, the beefier hardware for the 24-7 uses, but actually some software work, some firmware that's been implemented there to help the drive perform better with the types of uh, multi-data streams that you're going to get. Low bit rate, but many, many streams coming in at the same time. Yeah. Uh, for that demonstration, since uh, I don't know how many of you guys at home have set up a personal surveillance uh, system, whether you talk about setting something up in your home, uh, whether you have a small office or something like that, you need some additional security. Or if you guys run security for a larger business and you're looking at doing 10, 20, 30, hundreds of cameras for a larger uh, office space or warehouse or something like that, these drives are going to be uh, more than sufficient for that type of application all across the board, right? Yes, so correct. Okay. So the WD Purple drive uh, is actually designed to handle up to an 8-bay surveillance system okay. and up to 32 high definition cameras. All right. So, and that's for a single drive. For a single drive. Okay. So, that's that's a lot. And uh, to that end, we also have uh, somewhat of a, a, a maybe a typical uh, surveillance system uh, over here on our right. And this is basically uh, the systems in there, you got your drives in there. And then um, Richard, if I could ask you to Possibly turn that around for sure. us really quickly. I know we don't have a turntable or anything. Yeah, so this is a typical DVR system, digital right. video recorder that is used for surveillance. And you can see here, this is actually a 16 channel or to handle 16 cameras. Mm -hmm. And you can see because there's diff 16 different inputs. So in this type of a system, each cam would actually plug separately into the DVR system itself. So it's just, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a visual of why these drives are tuned the way they are. It's because you have so many data streams coming in. Each one of those uh, IP cameras that is connected to it is sending its own stream, and that needs to be recorded to the DVR. And um, we need to make sure, uh, it needs to be recorded to the drive, and we need to make sure that the drive uh, has the bandwidth to capture all those data streams because you know security is important. Exactly. And, and you don't want you don't want to miss a beat. Exactly. I guess. Go and capture every single frame out there. All right. So catch that bad guy. So let's talk a little bit more specifically uh, about the implement implementation of the WD Purple drives. Um, you mentioned before, as compared to the, the WD Red drives, uh, hardware-wise, we actually have a lot of the same kind of uh, mojo going on as far mm -hmm. as what's going in there to make sure the drives will work 24 hours a day. Um, Correct. 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the main differences from uh, a consumer drive, uh, if I'm not mistaken? Correct. OK. Um, have you ever seen folks take a consumer drive and drop it into a surveillance system like this? And what is, what is, the, what yeah. is the upshot of doing that? We do see that. Actually, that quite, happens quite often. Mm -hmm. um, and they typically take a desktop drive and will put it in a surveillance system. However, the issue there is it's not the performance isn't able to capable of handling that multi, that many streams coming in all at the same time mm -hmm. and being able to write all the streams as well as read all the streams if you need to go back and review the footage. Okay. So what happens is you can lose frames. And so we actually, um, in the surveillance industry, we've noticed that there's not actually a benchmark out there to capture that. I see. So what WD has done is we actually created our own benchmark. Okay. And we did that really in our efforts to optimize the firmware and the caching algorithms in the WD Purple drive to make sure that it performs better. So in your benchmark testing, say as compared to some competing drives that mm -hmm. were designed for the same type of function, um, what are the performance improvements from the Purple drives? So if you look at us versus a, a competitor's drive, and if you, in a 32 camera system, mm -hmm. Paul, um, our drives, we look at two different features or two different uh, uh, characteristics. One is, commands completed, which is very important. Mm -hmm. And for a 32 camera system, typical operation, we complete 100% of the commands that are given to us. Okay. Where a competitor's drive is only completing 60% of the commands completed. So that's so, a lot of drop frames. Yeah, and that can be drop frames. Mm -hmm. Missing commands means you might miss a frame. And in surveillance, every second counts. You just want to might capture that instance where the, the burglar or someone is crossing the screen and you can capture his face. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing we look at is hard drive efficiency. And that is basically how much the drive has to work to do its work. Okay. And in this type of situation, we run about 50% with 32 cameras uh, efficiency. 
and the competitors is in the, is in the low single digits. Okay. So in both those type of applications and, and characteristics, uh, we outperform the competition with, so, with the So program. not just the speed to make sure that you get all those captured frames and you don't have any drop commands, but also um, by making a more efficient firmware, uh, you're actually saving power, which is going to be gradually more important uh, the, the larger your operation becomes, of yeah, course. Yeah, and so. that performance actually comes from what we call an all-frame technology. Okay. And that enables, it's actually a caching algorithm policies where it has priorities into the writes because it's, a, again, a, a high write intensive environment. Mm. So we, we know what's going to happen, we can predict it. So because we, we understand it, we can optimize the caching algorithms uh, to perform better. Excellent. So uh, a couple questions that I think might come up in the comments, so just to preempt that. Mm -hmm. Anytime a new drive comes out, even though the drive comes out and you say, this is meant for surveillance, you're always going to have people say, well, could I just drop this into my computer and use it to store my video games or, 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 or as a boot drive or something like that? Is that possible, one? And two, is that recommended? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Okay. It will spin up and it will work. But however, we do not recommend it because again, it is not optimized for that application. Okay. And actually, if you take a WD Purple drive and run it in a typical PC benchmark, PC Mark Vantage type mm -hmm. thing, it will actually score lower than a PC drive. Okay. But if you take a PC drive and run it in the surveillance benchmark, it will score lower. And that's because we optimized it for the application and for surveillance. So these being designed for specific use, uh, if you're looking for a drive for your desktop computer at home or something like that, a WD Blue or a WD Black is probably going to serve you a bit Correct. better. Yeah, okay. If you're looking for a drive, the first question is, what's the application? And then that points you to which drive you should put into that application. OK. Um, my other question for you was going to be, because uh, as we've already mentioned, security being so important, mm -hmm. drop frames being a concern, Knowing that I'm going to have no drop frames, that's very good. Uh, are there, uh, are, would these drives also be RAID compatible if I wanted to set up some sort of redundancy? Correct, yeah. The WD Purple drive is RAID capable, okay. and we recommend up to eight drives. Up, RAID to, eight up drives. to eight drives. Okay, so if you get an eight drive bay, you're good, and just get another eight drive bay if you want more than that, mm -hmm. or if you're going for rack mount or yeah. something. And really, like typical uh, DVR and NVR type systems. Mm -hmm. um, we ninety percent of the market is eight bays or less. Okay. So we looked at the market and we uh, decided on how many bays it needed to support, so that we could cover most of the market. Excellent. And then, uh, as far as you folks at home, if you have watched this video and you're incredibly interested now in a purple drive, we have them right here in front of us. You will note. They do have purple on the label. They I, do. I'm very glad that you guys have maintained consistency in that. And it and says surveillance storage right on the label. It does say surveillance. Well. It's very straightforward. And we have capacities ranging from 4, 3, 2, and 1 terabytes, or 1, 2, 3, and 4, if you like to be more sequential. So uh, any capacity that you're interested in right now. And 3.5-inch and and form factors? 3.5-inch form factor drives, standard SATA interface. Uh, sure. I'm guessing on SATA revision 3, mm -hmm. 6 gigabit per second. Um, so buy as many of these as you need. Plug them all in. And if you need more than four terabytes, then uh, buy more drives, I guess, <laughs> is the solution there. Uh, Richard, any closing thoughts? So thank you, Paul. Been no great problem. And appreciate the time. And yes, so main thing is if there's a, have a surveillance system and realize that there's differences in drives, and that is based on applications. So if you have a specific application, get the right drive that fits that application. And for surveillance, that is WD Propyl. Excellent. I'd say specifically if you folks at home have set up a little home surveillance system and dropped in a non-purpose built drive and had it fail on you, here's the solution to that. So Richard, Definitely. thank you so much for coming by today. Thank you, Paul. No problem. And uh, thanks to you guys for watching. Of course, if you're interested in these drives, we have links down in this video's description. You can purchase them over on Newegg.com. Don't forget to hit the like button while you're down there. And we'll see you all next time on Newegg TV.